The Amazon rainforest is the world's largest tropical rainforest, covering over 5.5 million square kilometers. That's so big that you could fit 17 United Kingdoms inside it. The Amazon is found in South America, spanning across nine countries, Brazil, Bolivia, Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, and French Guiana. Before we go any further, make sure that you are subscribed to our channel. History The Amazon has a long and fascinating history. It likely formed during the Eocene era, from 56 million years to 33.9 million years ago, when the Atlantic Ocean had widened enough to provide a warm and moist climate to the region. About 200 million years ago, all the land was part of a single continent called Pangaea. The Amazon region was covered by salt water and possibly connected to a Proto-Congo river system from Africa. About 150 million years ago, Pangaea began to break apart into different continents. South America drifted westward and collided with the Nazca Plate, forming the Andes Mountains. About 100 million years ago, South America separated from Africa and moved further westward. The Atlantic Ocean widened and created a warm and moist climate for the Amazon Basin. About 65 million years ago, a massive asteroid hit Earth near Mexico and caused the mass extinction of dinosaurs and many other species. The Amazon rainforest survived this event and continued to diversify. About 23 million years ago, the Amazon River reversed its direction from west to east due to tectonic uplifts in the Andes. This created a huge drainage basin for the rainforest and allowed more species to migrate and mix. About 10 million years ago, the Amazon rainforest reached its peak of diversity and expansion. It covered most of northern South America and had more than 1,000 plant families. About 2.5 million years ago, an ice age began that lasted until about 10,000 years ago. The Amazon rainforest shrank and fragmented due to colder and drier conditions. Some species went extinct, while others adapted to new habitats. About 11,000 years ago, humans arrived in South America and left evidence of their presence in the Caverna da Pedra Pintada, Painted Rock Cave, in Brazil. They lived as hunter-gatherers and later developed agriculture and pottery. About 5,000 years ago, complex civilizations emerged in the Amazon region, such as the Marejo culture on Marajo Island at the mouth of the Amazon River. They built large settlements, mounds, canals, and roads. They traded with other groups across the continent. They had sophisticated art, religion, and astronomy. About 1500 AD, European explorers arrived in South America looking for gold and spices. They encountered indigenous peoples who had diverse cultures, languages, and knowledge. Some explorers were friendly, others were hostile. They brought diseases such as smallpox and measles that decimated native populations. Colonial powers such as Spain, Portugal, France, England, and the Netherlands fought for control of the Amazon region from the 1600s to the 1800s. They exploited natural resources such as rubber, wood, spices, and metals. Indigenous peoples were enslaved and forced to work on plantations, mines, and missions. The rubber boom attracted thousands of migrants, workers, adventurers, and fortune seekers from Brazil and other countries in the late 1800s and early 1900s. They established rubber plantation towns along rivers. Native faced harsh conditions, diseases, violence, and conflicts with natives. Roads, dams, mining, agriculture, and logging increased deforestation and degradation of the Amazon rainforest in the mid-late 1900s. They caused environmental and social problems such as habitat loss, biodiversity loss, climate change, and human rights violations. Biodiversity The Amazon is home to a staggering diversity of life. It holds the highest number of species in the world, including more than 40,000 plant species, 3,000 fish species, 1,000, 300 bird species, 430 mammal species, 380 reptile species, and 400 amphibian species. Some of the most iconic animals that live in the Amazon are jaguars, macaws, toucans, sloths, monkeys, anacondas, and perennas. Some of these organisms are only found in the Amazon rainforest, such as the Goliath bird eater spider, the largest spider in the world by mass and size. It can weigh up to 170 grams and have a leg span of up to 30 centimeters. The glass frog, a group of frogs with transparent skin that allows you to see their internal organs from their underside. The Amazon River Dolphin, a freshwater dolphin that can be pink, gray, or albino. It has a long snout and a flexible neck that helps it navigate through flooded forests. The poison dart frog, a colorful frog that secretes toxins from its skin. Some of these toxins can be lethal to humans and predators. The Morpho Butterfly, a large butterfly with iridescent blue wings that reflect light. It can be seen from a distance as it flies through the forest canopy. The basilisk lizard, a lizard that can run on water using its long toes and tail. It is also known as the Jesus Christ lizard because of this ability. 
Some examples of plants that are only found in the Amazon rainforest are the cacao, a plant with pods that contain seeds that are used to make chocolate, the passion flower, a plant with intricate flowers that have a symbolic meaning for Christians, the giant water lily, a plant with huge leaves that can support a human's weight and flowers that change color from white to pink. Some examples of microbes that are only found in the Amazon rainforest are the cyanobacteria that live inside bromeliads. These bacteria help bromeliads absorb water and nutrients from the air. The fungi that form symbiotic relationships with plants. These fungi help plants absorb minerals from the soil and protect them from pathogens. The viruses that infect insects. These viruses can control insect populations and prevent outbreaks of pests. Lungs of the Earth The Amazon is also vital for our planet's health. It produces more than 20% of the world's oxygen, making it known as the lungs of the Earth. It also stores around 120 billion tons of carbon, helping to regulate global climate change. The Amazon also releases around 20 billion tons of moisture into the atmosphere daily, creating clouds that bring rain to other parts of the world. Culture The Amazon is not only rich in biodiversity but also in culture. It is home to thousands of indigenous people who have lived there for centuries and have unique languages, traditions, and knowledge. Some indigenous people have chosen to remain isolated from modern society, while others have engaged with it in various ways. Some have embraced ecotourism initiatives that allow them to share their culture and protect their land. Others have faced threats to their culture from violence, disease, poverty, discrimination, and assimilation. Threats The Amazon rainforest faces a range of threats, including deforestation, mining, agriculture, logging, and climate change. Deforestation in particular is a significant issue with vast swaths of the forest being cleared to make way for farming, ranching, and other development activities. Deforestation is a major driver of biodiversity loss as it destroys habitat and disrupts ecosystems. It also contributes to climate change as trees store carbon dioxide and help regulate the global climate. Mining is also a threat to the Amazon rainforest as it can result in pollution and habitat destruction. Illegal mining is particularly problematic, as it often involves the use of toxic chemicals that can contaminate rivers and harm aquatic life. Agriculture and logging also contribute to deforestation and habitat destruction, and they can also result in soil degradation and erosion. Finally, climate change is a significant threat to the Amazon rainforest. Rising temperatures and changing precipitation patterns can cause droughts, which can lead to more frequent and severe forest fires. Forest fires not only release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere but also destroy habitat and disrupt ecosystems. Conservation efforts Despite these challenges, many individuals and organizations are working to protect the Amazon rainforest. Conservation efforts include the establishment of protected areas, the promotion of sustainable forestry, and the development of ecotourism. Protected areas such as national parks and reserves provide a legal framework for the conservation of the forest. These areas help to preserve biodiversity, protect indigenous communities' rights, and promote sustainable development. Sustainable forestry is another important conservation strategy, as it provides a way for communities to generate income from the forest without resorting to destructive activities like clear-cutting. Sustainable forestry involves practices like selective logging, which involves harvesting only a small portion of a forest while leaving the rest intact. Finally, ecotourism can provide a sustainable source of income for local communities while promoting the conservation of the forest. Ecotourism activities such as wildlife viewing, nature walks, and cultural experiences can generate revenue for communities while raising awareness about the importance of the forest. Thank you for watching this video about the Amazon rainforest. I hope you learned something new and interesting about this amazing place. If you did then feel free to like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time!